Okay, so massive weekend again, two games, six points at stake. What's the mood in the camp? Very good. Um, I've been enjoying playing games at the minute. I think at this stage of the season, that's pretty much what you want to do. We've got to make sure that in between we get people focused and prepared on the work that we have to do. What you can tell that the players just want to play uh, because of the stage of the season and how important the games are. They're great to be involved in because when you get the results, the highs are huge. So I enjoy playing under these, these conditions, everybody does. I enjoy managing them, the fans will enjoy being involved in them as well. So it's a good good time of the year. So yeah, we're in, we're in, a, we're in a good place. And your assessments of Farnley's opposition, obviously they they pose quite a real threat. Would you say to your your, your chances of points on Farnley? Like I say every week. Again, don't want to sound boring, and I'm not ducking up out of your question. The the challenges in this league are always very different, but everyone is a challenge. This is a different one for a whole host of reasons. We go into the game knowing that, we'll make the players aware of that. In fact, they would be able to make you aware of now um, because of the work we've done, the threats um, and the, and the way, ways that we need to be good in order to give ourselves a chance of getting a result. So yeah, it'll be a difficult game, but one that we're looking forward to the challenge of trying to win. We've got Ben Tollett having his first start last week uh, for a while. James Wallace coming back, the two new signings as well. Is this the strongest the squad's been all season, do you think? Yeah, I think so because, as you said, they're all pretty much available. The important thing is for me now is to keep them all active as I can without being reckless and picking a team. I've got to now have a look at it and think about the best team that I think can uh, get Tramier a result. It's always difficult for some reason in the National League as well that you only have five subs and one's got to be a goalkeeper. And that can be difficult because I've got to try and manage a dressing room as well of first team players who don't want to play first team football. So because there's only sort of four outfield subs and you don't get the six outfield like you do in the football league, you're, you're always looking to try and get a balance of that right and make sure that people know that they're involved. And, so you've got to try and be as active as possible with them. So having a big healthy squad is good, yeah, absolutely. But I've got to make sure that uh, I keep them all active and, and part of it all. So that's the that's the other balancing act that you get. <laughs> yeah, some fans have been asking about certain players not very involved lately, Eddie Clark in particular, is he just a victim of that of that five subs rule? Yes, uh, yeah, yeah, no. I think there would be many times where I've looked around the bench and felt that if I had another two substitutes, the two that probably would be substitutes I would probably use now. You're obviously <laughs> guessing for a time how you believe the game's going to go. You have to look at it and say, well, I have only got four outfield subs. One obviously has to give a sort of an impact if I'm trying to get back in the game. You always have a, a defensive sort of thinking and then by the time you look and you've covered scenarios and tried to have a, a plan for either trying to keep a, a, a winning position or trying to get back into a game, the other things that you think about, about picking a bench, it's never really ever about my next five best players, it's not about that, it's about making sure that if my goalkeeper gets injured and I haven't put a goalkeeper on the bench and when there was one available, then that's not professional for me. I've got to be professional in doing that. I'd love to be able to pick five outfield players, I'll be honest with you, but like I say, that goes for every position in the pitch. If I don't have a player who can come in and, and slot in there, or I have a player that I believe can come on and create as an impact, or somebody you see is over the line if we're winning, then I believe I, I should be held accountable for that. So, that's really how the, the bench is picked. I'm sure you haven't came the other day to, to ask about that, but that's, that really is what it is. So, in Eddie's case, he's had a bit of illness as well. Now. He's, he's not trained today, he's, he's, he's injured today. So, um, that's, uh, that's really been it. But 
I've just got to try and at the end of the day, my, my decision is to try and pick a team that I believe can win games, and that's what I try and do. Seven games left at Ham Bottness this weekend, then you've got two games in four days. Well, massive because of that, there's six points up for grabs. If anybody stutters over this weekend, you can f you can uh, uh, you, you, you'll see a six point swing, which is huge at this time of the season. So you just got to take care of your own business and try and pick up six points. If you come out of the Easter weekend with six points, got into five games to go, then it'll be really positive. So we'll look to try and do that. We know the, the difficulties that, that we have surrounding that. But we're, uh, we're going to all set all out to try and come out of the weekend with six points. I think it's just one win in ten against the current top seven so far this season that with all the shot and Dover still to play. Does this team have a, a problem against some of the better sides in this division, do you think? Well, we'll see, won't we? Um, this weekend, I can't argue with stats. I can't argue with them. I am. Um, at the end of the day, we have had results against everyone, and we haven't just lost everyone. Um, we have had there's, there's draws and, and things in there, so the games are always very tight. They've always hinged on one moment. The, 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 it always does when you play the top six against top six. But well, we've had a a result, if you like, pretty much against all of the top six or seven. You might find, I don't know if anybody's uh, beat us twice, I don't think so. Um, and someone obviously will play twice. So it shows you how tight it can be. We have to work hard on the detail when you play against the top six, knowing that there's not much, top six, seven, there's not much between the teams in their games, and usually that little fine margin is, is what decides the game. Um, so we've got to make sure that uh, that it comes out on your side. When you look at that top seven at the moment, have you ever known to be as tight as it is? I think there's three of you on 67. No, I've never known it to be as tight as that. It's uh, it's tight all the way right down. But that shows you what the league's like. It's it's uh, it's very competitive. It's um, it's got a lot of ambitious teams in there. So we're a part of that. Enjoying that, we we'll make sure that we, uh, we come on top of that. And other than Eddie, any other new problems for the weekend? Um, no, uh, just just a few bits and bats. People who at this stage of the season can't really do the training, so we're just getting prepared for the games. Just the usual that that type of stuff. We bit illness that you, again that you get at this time of the season, but. We'll never make excuses. We'll, we should be able to put together a team that we believe can go down there and represent Tramir and make a good fist against the three points. And I bet you'll be glad to get all these long journeys out of the way. This is the last one now. <laughs> it's been monstrous, isn't it? I mean, again, I've never really known it to be like this in, in any of the leagues that I've ever been in. But it's what it is. It's what makes the league such a big challenge. You, uh, you have to get on with that. But we won't use it as an excuse. We, we, everybody's got to go and play wherever, so get on with it, get in there. We'll, we'll be really well prepared. The club looks after us and we're travelling arrangements. We don't rough it if you like. <laughs> we, we go in the best conditions that we possibly can for a club like ours. And they're very good conditions, so absolutely no excuses. But we'll be in there, we'll be, we'll be ready to go and um, try and pick up my valuable three points for the football club.